David Barnson is here with me this morning here in New York City. Do you think the drop in Microsoft was an overreaction? Down 0.7 percent no, yesterday. When it, no, when it, I think it's going to end up going down where it was yesterday again. But because really? of the momentum in Nasdaq today from the uh, semiconductors that's unrelated, it has to do with the deal with South Korea and Japan. Yeah. That's giving life to the whole space. And so Microsoft is kind of catching a bid with that. Otherwise, fundamentally, that softness in Azure and so forth, I think it would be down twenty five dollars today. And it will stay down. Yeah, well, it's going to go down a lot more than that eventually, but um, why? It's just so overpriced. I mean, Nvidia is down was down twenty five percent on the month coming into today, and it was at sixty one times earnings. Okay, well, after being down twenty five percent. So right now, the fundamentals have been good. At some point, there's going to be a quarter where they miss expectations, and then the bottom falls out. But for now, it can kind of keep plugging along with this irrational exuberance. Okay, well, today we've got Meta after the closing mm-hmm. bell. Tomorrow, I think we've got Apple and Amazon. Right. Will the, what you're talking about with Microsoft is going to go further down. Will that affect these stocks, the tech stocks? But I'm not saying it will happen to Microsoft this quarter, next quarter. I'm saying eventually all these overpriced big tech stocks have to revert to the mean. The valuations are way too high. They cannot grow into these valuations. So they will correct. It's just a matter of timing. No matter what. They no all matter will. what. No question about it. Should I sell my Microsoft? Stuart, your tax basis is so low that I can't even imagine what your tax bill, if you would sell. So if I were you, I would just write it out. But it's in my retirement account. Oh, well, where then, yeah. I pay no capital gains. I'd be trimming quite heavily. Would you, you? Would you really? Of course. Yes. Ooh, okay. Uh, you, you know, you've gone through this for a couple of minutes. You never mentioned the possibility of a rate cut, which is surely on the table for September. Does that matter to you? No, it's 100 percent priced in, 100 percent priced into the market that there will be two rate cuts before the end of the year. It's a very small chance that they do 50 basis points in September. More likely they do a quarter of September, quarter of December. But um, the market has fully priced that in. It's known about it. And so this is where I've talked on the show about 20 times this year that the Fed is a very overrated actor in markets, that we the market was expecting six rate cuts at the beginning of the year, starting in March. It didn't get them. The market's still up 15 percent. The markets have been shrugging off all the Fed talk all year long. David Bonson still with us this morning, along with his dividend picks, of course. I'm surprised to see Starbucks as your pick. They don't pay that much, do they? Uh, they're paying over a 3 percent dividend yield, and they've been growing it single digits for years. So you talk about S&P 500 that has a 1.2 percent yield, and Starbucks is now two and a half times that. And again, I, I've talked to you on the show many, many times. We don't care what the um, yield is at purchase. We care about the growth of the dividend over time. Mm-hmm. Starbucks is growing their dividend mightily. They have the free cash flow to do it. And now you have a 3 percent handle in a world interest rates are coming down, and the S&P yield is well below one and a half percent. Just hard to get excited about a three percent yield. Yeah, I think that that's because you don't uh, want to hear me <laughs> on the growth of dividend story. And I have decided Just give me the yield. That's what I, I have decided that I have to focus on getting this message to your viewers because you just won't listen to me. Just don't look me in the eye. Look yes. into the camera and directly address the audience. OK, next one is Chevron. Now, they do pay a decent dividend. Yeah, well, they do. And they also grow the dividend a lot. But you again, would you look at the dividend as it's four percent right now or if you bought a stock for $100 and it's paying you $8, wouldn't you look at that as 8%? See, that's the issue is over time, the dividend's growing. The stock price goes up too, Stuart. But Chevron, their yield on what we purchased it is 20% a year. That's what we care about. That's what Starbucks will end up being someday too. Okay, you've convinced me. Uh, I don't think I have because we've had this conversation many times. We'll probably have it again. And too. we're going to have it again. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. David, you're all right. Thank you very much. Is he argumentative at this moment? I don't know. But he's a bi-coastal guy. You, you know, you've got places on both coasts. What do you mean by argumentative? I'm never argumentative. I'm here to be persuasive and helpful. Um, the bi-coastal thing has a lot to do with price. It's too expensive in a lot of these areas. Well, let's also point out that Florida is on a coast. Red state, a lot of jobs, low tax, low regulation. New York is on the coast, high tax, high regulation. So those are different dynamics, even though they're both coastal. Um, the issue about Californians going to Fort Wayne, Indiana. We've already seen it. I'm joking. They went to Austin. They went to Phoenix. They went to Franklin, Tennessee.
Tennessee. So people have left blue states in mass to go to places where there are jobs. And, and I actually think Mitch was saying, oh, there's not a lot of builders going to Fort Wayne. I think there are. I think the builders went to North Carolina. They went to Tennessee. The builders are building where those states will let them. The high regulation that former President Trump referred to is not a federal regulation problem. It's states. It is. And, and there are certain states are allowing builders to come in and build supply. It's even certain counties within mm-hmm. states. That's right. Yeah. David, thank you.